Hi, this is Encouragement, bite-sized stories to refresh your soul. Here's Jim Smith with a little encouragement. Scott Reeves recalls that it was near the end of a school year in Lower Alabama and the weather had turned unseasonably hot for mid-May. As I was driving home from the county school where I'd substitute taught that day, I noticed a box turtle working to make his way across the hot pavement of the county road. I steered my car to pass over him, wondering if he would ever make it to the side of the road before being run over or being boiled to death in his shell. So I pulled into the next driveway, turned the car around, and headed back for the turtle. He'd made pitiful progress, slowly, painstakingly making his way step by heated step toward the side of the road. So I stopped, got out of the car, picked up the turtle, and moved it into the grass on the side of the road that he was headed toward. I returned to my car and continued my journey home thinking about that turtle. He had no idea who or what I was, let alone what I was trying to do for him. He had no idea of my intended purpose to help him. Maybe in his little mind and with what awareness he had of life and living things, I could have been God. I thought of how similar I was to that traveling turtle, how immeasurably insignificant I am compared to God's creation and God himself. Why did I stop the car and move the turtle to the side of the road out of harm's way? As I pondered that question, I thought, where would I be now if God were too busy to turn aside and save me? I drew great comfort in knowing that, like the turtle, I could have been burning on a fiery path leading to certain death if God hadn't rescued me and, and led me beside the still waters. I don't pretend to know all of God's purposes or plans for me or anyone else for that matter. What I do know is that as insignificant as we are in His wondrous universe, God loves each and every one of us. And He's never too busy to turn aside when just one of His lowly creatures needs rescued. Some thoughts there from Scott Reeves. Jesus asked in Matthew 18, verse 12, If a man has a hundred sheep, and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? Thank you for listening to Encouragement. If you've been refreshed, don't forget to subscribe, leave a review, and share a little encouragement with someone you love. Encouragement is a podcast from Family Radio. These stories are just a taste of the stories you can hear every day. Listen at familyradio.org or find more encouragement on the Family Radio app.